Pythagoras' theorem squares the hypotenuse and sets it equal to the square of the two sides. I've labeled my two perpendicular sides A and B. The right angle indicates that the squares of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Let's first work with some perfect squares. If I have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, the square of 3 is 9, the square of 4 is 16, and the square of 5 is 25. This is a nice triangle and it occurs often in multiple math classes. Let's calculate the hypotenuse analytically. C squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. If I square 3, I get 9. If I square 4, I get 16 and the answer of 9 plus 16 is 25. Take the square root of both sides of the expression and C is equal to 5. In SolidWorks, I can utilize sketching to help me calculate the sides of a triangle. In this case, I'm going to sketch a horizontal and a vertical line and then the hypotenuse. Remember the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. I'm going to use a familiar triangle, but this time multiply each side by 10. 30 and 40 are the length of my sides. I don't have to worry about squaring 30 or 40, as I can do a shortcut and just square 3 and 4. Again, I will get 5 as the hypotenuse and later multiply by 10. SolidWorks will calculate the hypotenuse for me automatically by just selecting the edge. In the case of an isosceles triangle, in here, both sides are equal to 10. I'm going to square the two sides and get 100 plus 100, which gives me 200. I take the square root of 200 and I get the square root of 2 times the square root of 100. It's a good idea to be able to recognize the perfect squares. They occur often and you don't have time to reach for your calculator. I take the square root of 2 and multiply it by 10. Rewriting, it is 10 radical 2 for the hypotenuse. C becomes 10 times 1.41. The square root is just one of those values you need to memorize. C is equal to 14.1 if I move the decimal place over one position. As numbers become more challenging, you can utilize SolidWorks to estimate the value just by selecting on an individual line segment. But in a theoretical situation, in standardized math testing, in college-based mathematics, you need to have these values memorized. Let's take a look at the hypotenuse and one of the sides. Again, the value for the opposite leg can be calculated by just selecting on the line. SolidWorks displays the value in the lower right corner. This is the 5, 12, 13 triangle. Two legs are 5 and 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. 5, 12, 13 is a very popular triangle. 